This is from a cow. From a cow. Be honest with me. Did this cow smoke? Welcome to the best ever food review show, where today we're going on another food adventure on the rainy city of Saigon in Vietnam. And today we're eating, actually I don't even know what we're eating. What are we eating today? Pha lo bò. What is in that? Well, pha lo bò is not about cow intestine. Oh, cow intestines? Yes. Uh, what, what else is inside? Internal organs. Internal organs of the cow. Yes. I'm sorry, can you pull over really quick? Okay. Okay, thanks, Matt. I just need a, a quick minute. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what to do. Um, I think here's what people don't understand. You know, I go through great lengths to make sure that every time I do a yummy face in this show, it's authentic. It's always because what I'm eating is yummy and it, it, it produces, it manifests a yummy face on me. And I can't start doing any fake yummy faces. But uh, we're eating uh, cow intestines. Is that, could that be good? Uh, Andrew. Yo. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Um, they, they want me to eat cow intestines. It's just that I've never done a fake yummy face and I can't do a fake yummy face today. Like, uh, I'm a little bit worried about the, the yummy face. Uh, I mean, you don't have to fake it if you don't like it. Uh... And if it's not yummy, I don't have to fake a yummy face. Is that what you're saying? That is correct. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. Okay, hi. I'm back. Cow intestines? Yeah. Do you promise it's yummy? 200%, trust me. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, we have the 200% guarantee of my guide Laum that this is going to be the most tasty cow organ soup I've ever tasted. It, it might also be the only cow organ soup I've ever tasted. Alright, let's go for it. Alright, hey Laum, so the thing is, I'm a little bit worried about the organ soup. The only reason is because sometimes organs can be gamey. Do you know mm. what gamey is? I don't get it. Gamey is like when it tastes a little animal-y or like a farm, when it tastes like how a farm smells, that's gamey. Animal smell, you mean, right? Yeah. Is this gonna be gamey? I don't think so. Okay. You don't trust me? I No, I trust you. <laughs> wow, such a beautiful array of organs from the cow. Okay, let's see if I can name all of these. It's time to play Guess the Organ. Intestine. Right. Liver. Not. What is it? Spleen. Are you serious? Yes. I've never even seen. <laughs> I've never even good. seen the spleen, let alone eaten one. These two are the same one, right? Okay. But they eat up uh, the fryer, fallow, right? With oil. Oh. Yeah. So this one with soup, and this one with oil. Can we try both? Why not? I feel like, look, as long as we're here, as long as I'm getting used to these organs, let's have all the organs possible. I prefer the soup one. First. Yep. And then the fried one. Because for dessert. <laughs> Whatever yeah. she thinks is the most yummy, I want to try a piece of it now. Okay. What is that? Is that spleen? Right. No, that's the uh, um, stomach. A part of the stomach. Part of the stomach? Yeah. Okay, so this is cow stomach. It has been kind of fried in this pot here for some time. Usually you would eat this with some bread. Mm, right. But you can eat it alone like that. Does it taste animal? No. <laughs> you see. It tastes good. I was worried, but that's good. Very fatty, a okay. little chewy. I can see that would uh, definitely go well with bread. <laughs> so here we have our cow organ soup, right. also known as Pha Lau. Good. We've got some fish sauce with chilies inside, and we have a banh mi, which is a bread baguette. You should try a little bit of soup first. Okay. It looks like a beautiful oil slick on top. Nice, fat. Tons of fat inside, but you said some coconut too? Yep. Oh, How does it taste? It tastes really good. I mean, you can put coconut milk in anything and it's gonna make it taste amazing. Is this yeah. stomach? Yeah. So I'm gonna put it in the bread. Right. And then I'm gonna dip it. So I'm gonna do everything that's possible. And here. how about the sauce as well? Yeah. So don't forget the sauce. Broth and I mean, fish the sauce. The sauce. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing you can't put fish sauce on here in Vietnam. Great combination, right? Is it too it's so refreshing. So the sauce is really surprisingly delicate and the bread is nice and soft. And so the organ's a little bit chewy, but not too chewy. And it's certainly not gamey at all. So good. Okay, so next we're trying spleen. That oh. is spleen. Yeah. The taste is quite different from the stomach. I've never even seen a spleen, let alone tasted a spleen. And here it is before me. It's very dark. It looks a little livery. 
Oh, and it tastes really livery. Yeah, it's kind of bitter. It tastes a lot like liver. I think this would be my style if I came here. I'd make a bunch of little mini sandwiches like this. So have you changed your mind yet? I would dip them. Yes, I have. <laughs> and I would eat it like this. So we already had all the splendor and beauty that is the cow organ soup, and now we have the fried cow organ. Right. And we have a special kind of jerky mm. made from organs. Okay, let me guess. It's black, it's a bit oily. Mm-hmm. Tell me what it is. It doesn't taste that much like meat. It's okay. very sweet, a little chewy. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, dry like normal jerky. Good guess. What organ is it? Uh, lung. You got it. Is it lung? Yes. These are the best lungs I've ever eaten. But it tastes like beef jerky. This is from a cow. From a cow. Be honest with me. Did this cow smoke? <laughs> Why does this cow have Because of the seasoning, because of the soy sauce, uh, the seasoning, meditating. Of course. Guys, this, these cow lungs have no carcinogens. Uh, this cow did not smoke, it's just seasoning. And they've made this beautiful lung jerky. It's very sweet on the outside, kind of syrupy. And, might I also say, it's very yum. Here we have the fried organs. Right. A little bit of spleen. Right. We got a little bit of cow stomach, and we've also got intestine. Oh, that is a big piece of cow intestine. Right. Again, I don't know what's wrong with me. I like squid a lot, and I like intestines a lot, okay? I mean, I don't know what's right with me, because there's nothing wrong with that. Dip it, give it a little dip. So for the next bite, why don't you put everything in one? Okay. To finish it off for today, we're putting all three organs right. in all, one mini sandwich. All together. Intestine, right. stomach, stomach, and some spleen. Put it in the fish sauce. In the fish sauce. It has never been done before in Vietnam. Three organs in one sandwich. <laughs> all three. This is taste different. There's a cacophony of flavor confusion, a parade of flavor, a tornado of young Tornado. <laughs> in my mouth. I'm really blown away, man. You know, in the West, people, a lot of people, they shy away from the cow organs. Maybe they'll have a chicken heart now and then, like I did when I was a kid in Minnesota. Minnesota what? But people get a little bit shy when they see a giant cauldron with boiling organs inside. You have shown me the light, and for that, I want to say thank you. You're so welcome, man. And for you guys, if you're interested in this kind of Vietnamese insider foodie experience, hit up one trip. For an amazing food tour in Saigon or Hoi An, I've done the tour myself, and it was very yummy. And I'm the Duke of Yum, so I know. Links for that are in the info box down below. I'll see you next week. A peace.